Father's love, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Devotional for May the 13th from our Daily Walk by F.B. Meyer. This one's entitled, A Psalm of Communion. A couple scriptures to start this one. The first one is Psalm 116.13. It's Psalms chapter 116, verse 13. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. And Matthew 26, 27, and 28. It's Matthew chapter 26, verses 27 and 28. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many under remission of sins. Every Christian disciple should partake of the Lord's Supper regularly. It is a sacrament. In the days of the Roman Republic, the youths were brought to the altar and sworn to serve their country to the death. So our first communion is our oath of allegiance to our king. It's a proclamation or confession of our faith. We bear witness to the death of Christ as our hope of forgiveness and salvation. We testify our desire to put his cross and grave between us and the world. It is also a bond of Christian union. It is a pledge of the covenant. The death of the cross was God's sign and seal to the new covenant, the provisions of which are recited in Hebrews 8, 1-13. When we drink the wine, it is as though we said, Remember thy covenant. Let me appeal to all, and especially to the young disciple, to draw near and take the bread and wine, and to meditate deeply and reverently on that supreme gift which demands our self-giving. Psalms 116, 13, and 14 What shall I render unto the Lord? I will take the cup, I will pay my vows. The expression in this psalm is remarkable. I will take the cup of salvation. When we inquire what salvation, we read, Thou hast loosed my bonds. And we are reminded of, Unto him that loveth us, and loosed us from our sins by his blood. We are tied and bound by our sins. Our sinful habits bind us fast in our thongs. But our Lord looses us, by his cross. Notice how triumphantly the psalmist avows his loyalty to his heavenly master. Again and yet again he avows, O Lord, truly, I am thy servant. I am thy servant. And we are servants or bond slaves of Jesus. If it be asked what the sacrifices of thanksgiving are, we may reply, First, the sacrifice of ourselves. Next, the sacrifice of our praise and gifts. Not grudgingly or thoughtlessly, but with cheerful eagerness. Let us come to the altar of God, because of all we owe to Him. Let us never cease to live and serve, to praise and give. Our prayer for today We pray that we may eat and drink and do whatsoever we are called to do in remembrance of Christ and to show forth His life. May the spirit of worship pervade every act of daily life. Amen. I hope today's devotional blesses you and strengthens you. A few scriptures for this one. I'll post them here. Get out your Bible. Read over them. And let the Holy Spirit write them in your heart. If you need a Bible, email me. I'll be more than happy to mail one to you. As always, don't forget to pray for the children, for our fellow brothers and sisters all around the world, and for those still lost in the darkness, so they too could see the light. May our Father bless you. May He keep you. May His grace shine upon you and give you peace. 
I'll see you next time.